Hey all you Let's Play fans, welcome back to my challenge run of A Link to the Past! Let's get our ass moving, we got tons of stuff to do in this episode, as always. Just entered the dark world and we're in the very first dungeon. Got ourselves a brand new magic hammer. Yeah, you can't even progress forward in the dark world without this magic hammer. So go figure there. Yeah, now we can use those bombs, they will be quite handy. Yeah, sorry for taking so long between uploading uh, videos for this uh, challenge run. I've been working on other projects and also getting ready for the fall semester of college, which is coming up next week, believe it or not. <laughs> Hard to believe it's that soon. I got four classes, so that's going to be quite a load there. But uh, it won't affect me uploading uh, Let's Play videos, so don't worry about that. Let's see. Oh, yay! Rupees! Rupees! And we can also grab ourselves another key. So let's get... Ah! Let's run into the wall, first of all, because that's quite important. And we'll head back upstairs. Well, and I also hope you guys liked my co-op Let's Play with my brother that I did with King of the Monsters 2. We had a lot of fun doing that. I just turned the camera on and just <laughs> recorded whatever we were saying. So that was a lot of fun. We have a, uh, I have a couple more co-op uh, ideas for the future that I might do with him. I don't know. I'll think about it. So, oh, I don't know what the hell happened there. So let's go ahead and flick that back red. It'll be uh, useful later on. And we got a switch there, but we can't hold it down on our own, so let's get good old Statue Boy to do it for us. Oh, there we go. Hey, check this out. Ugh, give it to me, Statue. Ugh, yeah. Alright, after that perverted moment, let's get moving onwards. One arrow to you, and another arrow to you. And one for you, and one for you. See, who says I don't share with people? I mean, look at that. Whoa, hello. Mr. Spike, I don't think so today. <laughs> ah, shoot that thing in the eye. It took me forever to figure that out when I was a kid. I can't remember if I read it somewhere or if I just figured it out by randomly just hitting that statue of things. But uh, I think there's somewhere in the game there's a hint on how to open this. I'm not sure where it is, though. Okay, it's down here. I need to break out the good old hammer. And we can take out these turtle dudes with this. We'll flip them over and we can hit their uh, unprotected side there. Ah, uh, there we go. We'll head through Meow. We'll get the hammer out because we're going to have to take out some turtle dudes here. Screw you, buddy. Link's got places to be and people to do. Ah. Well, it's one of you drop hearts, that'd be, that'd be ideal. Uh, there we go. Yeah, don't get these guys off your, uh, out of your sight. Because they'll run around all pissed off and just, like, ram into you. And that's no bueno! So into the teleporter we go, to meet our doom. Uh, Let's run into him, that's great. Let's see if I can get this. If you're really lucky, you can get the the anti fairy here on the other side with the magic powder. You can restore your health back up. It's kind of hard to do because you have to really time it well. Ah, uh, yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna waste my time with it. But if you're really low on health when you come to this part, you can just do that. And oh shit, King Helmosaur! Suck my bombs, you asshole! <laughs> How did that hurt me? That was like far away from me. Uh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Alright, I'm being a little careless here. Uh, hammer your face. Oh, shit. That's no good. Whoa, whoa. Uh, let's see. Let's get up the bombs again. Oh, you shitting me. It was like one pixel that hit me. Ah, uh, the goddamn nut gobbler. He's going down! How dare you make me hit this crappy linoleum floor with my face! It's hideous! I did not want to look at it! Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Let's get out good old handy dandy bow and arrow. Ah, uh, there we go. Stand right there. 
Aha! And you're dead! Uh, suck my master sword, you little bitch! I, I love the epic explosion there. <laughs> Yay! Heart container! Ooh, and the crystal! Maybe we can hawk this thing at a pawn shop and get some money out of it. That'd be awesome! Ooh, it's even got a woman inside it. That'd be even better. Fuck! Because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters! Thank you! And now listen to my exposition, which I'm not going to. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. May the warrior the hero lead to the Triforce! Damn straight, I'm gonna get that Triforce. I'm gonna wish for tons of bitches. That's the way Link rolls, right there. Alright, screw you guys. I'm just gonna stun. Ah! That was cheap, man. Do not approve. So, let's go ahead and head over this way. I think we'll be able to take down another dungeon in this episode. Yeah, I'm going to head through here pretty quickly, because since I don't need to collect any heart pieces or any of that crap, <laughs> things are going to go much faster. Going to make it to the end of the game before you know it. Watch out, bomber man! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get hit by that guy. He takes off three hearts. So, before we head downwards... Make a short detour over this way. Because there's. Uh, ah! <laughs> Out of the way, skull! <laughs> Jesus. Everything's getting in my way. Ah, see? Ah! You guys irritate the balls off me! Have a skull. Out of my way, tentacle monster. I already told you guys I don't want to be raped in your hentai. Link's that, not that kind of person. And we're also going to lose the shield in this episode, because now that we got the hammer, I can actually make it to those... Ah! Damn, those things take off two hearts. We can make it to the thing that steals shields. I'm not sure what he's called in this one. I always forget his name. It's not a like-like, but it's something like with a sticky tongue. And I think his name is actually a play off of that or something. Hey, a big fish! Well, ugly looking fucker, too. Was it you who disturbed my peaceful nap? I will give you this if you go away. Why, thank you, sir. I can use this quake medallion. All right, that's all we came up here for. What does it say? Circle of stones. You can suck my circle of balls. So let's make our way down here. And jump off the ledge. Arr! I like those things like variations of Octoroks. I think there'd be variations of those green dudes that you see, but... Ah! Oh, damn it! I did not say you could do that. Wait for him to jump, and screw you. And same with you. Not today, buddy! Link has more important crap to do. Like, get his hair dyed a different color, because that embarrassed me to be pink like that. So let's just test out our newfound power here, the Quake Medallion! Oh! What do you think about that, guys? Damn, give me your hearts, I need those. So let's go ahead and get out that hammer. Because, yeah, you see you can't make it your way down here without the hammer. It's kind of how they force you to go to the first dungeon. Whatever, that kind of bullshit. So let's make our way downwards! Yeah, the enemy that can steal our shield is right down here. And yeah, there was one of them on that screen there, but there's way too much going on there, and I don't want to get hit by anything. So let's have this one steal our shield. No, that's a rupee. That's an arrow. Steal the goddamn shield. There we go. Now we have no shield! Yay! That's another requirement down. Oh, crap. <laughs> let's go ahead and go into the light world here. And then down the stairs. Uh, yeah, I need some bombs, so let's go ahead and get that. There we go! Unfortunately, we have to go back out, because now we block the fucking path. It's kind of astacular how they do that. But whatever, I'm totally over it! There's also an anti-fairy in here, so we could use that. BAM! Thank you! Now we're at full hearts! So you want to open up this dam here. Damn! And make your way back outside. 
Now that the water's drained, it's drained on this side as well. And that's how you enter this dungeon, because if you come in here there'll be no water and you can't make it up there. And then you'll be all pissed off, then you'll throw the game in the garbage. But you don't want that, because this is a good game. Uh, uh, uh. Screw you guys. I like how my button keeps sticking. I'm killing it doing that Super Metroid run. Hope you guys are going to appreciate it when I'm done. Because I'm going to have to get a brand new controller, because this thing's like turning into garbage fast. It was actually a pretty good controller. You guys are making me kill it, though. You should, you should feel sorry for yourselves. So, if we make our way up here, there's a skull right here. And we can have ourselves a key. Keys are always good. Because they can open doorways. I'm t telling you guys this like you don't know that. Ooh, we can use that. Screw you. Ooh, we already got the hammer out. So let's push this level. Meow. Now, drain some water into that little channel down there. And hey, we can swim to the next area. Not like we can jump over this small fucking wall here. Whatever. So let's see here. We got the big chest in this room, but we do not have the big key yet. So bummer. Yeah, there it is right there in the top right of the screen. Now, they have that thing there in the middle of the room that can uh, zap you if you use your... Oh, shit. If you use your sword in here. But if you use your hammer, then you can <laughs> bypass that. So there's a key right there. Now we'll head up to that other room. That was to the right of the other room we were just in, if that makes any sense. So down meow. Over meow. Oh, shit. It's funny, those things coming out of the holes in the walls are... I think they're called MOAs. Like the flying MOAs in the, the second Zelda game. Ugh! Figures you'd do that. Ugh. So hit that switch. Where are you, skeleton? Come here. Ugh. Push that level, meow. Now flood that channel. Um, channel? <laughs> what the hell am I trying to say? Channel down there, Jesus. So let's make our way down the stalls. Mm, go back this way. Come here, Red Skull, dude. Ugh. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Take your heart. That's right. R Link rips the hearts out of his enemies. Consumes them because it's delicious. You got one of those, uh... What the hell are those guys call them? The goo things? I can't remember. <laughs> you just run right into them. Push that, push that, and there we go. Yeah, see what I mean, uh... I think I was mentioning it in the last episode. Link looks funny when he's walking towards the camera and he doesn't have a shield. I guess you can kind of see that in uh, the start of the game, too. Ah! When you're going to rescue Zelda, because you don't have anything in your hands yet, either. Yay! Rupees! Yeah, that's why you want to make sure the switch is red when you come here. Because you'll come all this way, realize it's red, and be all pissed off. Then you'll set the game on fire and then kick your SNES out of the window of your apartment. And that's not good. You don't want to do that. So down this way. Oh, shit. I don't think so, skeleton man. And so now that we have that big key, we can go get that treasure. And that's a good treasure, too. One of the most uh, famous ones in the Zelda series um, after this point. And what is it? It is the hook shot! Yay! So let's get that out. Use it right away. Check that crap out. As fucking boss. So let's head back up, meow. And across this way, meow. There we are. So let's head left first of all. Screw you, man. Screw you, dude. I think there's a bomb under that skull there. Is there? No, it's rupee. Fuck rupees. 
So now that that's like that, we can head this way. Head on my way, red dude. So guys, you want to be on this side to pull the switch! Or push the switch. Or just run into it like Link does, apparently. Yeah, I definitely like the sprite of Link in uh, Parallel Worlds better than the original game. Because this one he kind of looks goofy, but in the original game... Or, uh, in the original game he looks goofy. But in Parallel Worlds, uh, he looks like he's a little more uh, put together, well-defined. So you want to come up here through the second waterfall. Get out of my way, you fucking floaty jelly things. I knew their name back in Parallel Worlds, but I forgot it. I'll probably look it up at some point if someone doesn't tell me beforehand. So we have to swim over here, first of all. Grab a key. And I don't think there's any way to avoid damage there unless you have the Bombos medallion. So let's move up here. And it is boss time! Oh, shit! So let's get him, coax him over this way. There we go. That way you can use the hook shot and nab some of his meatballs, because they look delicious. Though I'm not pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's not how you eat meatballs, though, Link. You don't smack him with a sword. That's a bad place to stand. Ah! Ugh, die! This is like one of the easiest bosses ever, but he's really annoying. Not a good place to stand. Ah! Yeah, you want to keep him to one side of the room. That way you'll have plenty of room on the other side. There we go. Only got two more meatballs to go. Link's getting full by now. There we go. Now you'll start doing this jumping shit. Find it easier just to charge at the sword, wait for him to fall, and then hit him. Ugh! Don't think so, buddy! Ow! <laughs> That's kinda ass how he hit me there. Yay! Another heart container! And another crystal that we can pawn off! Link's gonna be one rich son of a bitch! Yay, another maiden! Fuck! Because of you I can escape! The clutches of evil monsters! Thank you! I like how they're all coordinated and say the exact same fucking thing. And blah 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 blah, more exposition, na 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 na. By the way, the hero lead to the Triforce! Bad assery!